హాయ్ హలో నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు నీడ్స్ ఆఫ్ చిల్డ్రన్ వీఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ టెన్త్ స్టాండర్డ్ ఇంగ్లీష్ మీడియం ఇన్ దట్ హిస్టరీ యూనిట్ నెంబర్ టెన్ ద పొలిటికల్ డెవలప్మెంట్స్ ఆఫ్ ట్వంటీ ఎత్ సెంచురీ లెట్స్ కమ్ టు ది వట్ ఆర్ ద వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ లర్నింగ్ పాయింట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ లెసన్ ఇన్ దిస్ చాప్టర్ యూ లర్న్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ లైక్ ఫస్ట్ వరల్డ్ వార్ రష్యన్ రెవల్యూషన్ ద రైజ్ ఆఫ్ డిక్టేటర్స్ సెకండ్ వరల్డ్ వార్ చైనీస్ రెవల్యూషన్ కోల్డ్ వార్ ద రైజ్ ఆఫ్ అమెరికా సో బిఫోర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫోర్టీన్ వట్ వాజ్ ద కండిషన్ ఆఫ్ యూరోప్ ద ఫస్ట్ వరల్డ్ వార్ బిఫోర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫోర్టీన్ ద పవర్ఫుల్ కంట్రీస్ ఆఫ్ ద యూరోప్ లైక్ ఇంగ్లాండ్ జర్మనీ ఫ్రాన్స్ ఇటాలీ ఆస్ట్రో అంగేరియన్ ఎంపైర్ అండ్ రష్యా వర్ అట్ కాన్స్టాంట్ వార్ ఓవర్ ద ఇష్యూ ఆఫ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిషింగ్ కంట్రోల్ ఓవర్ ద కలోనీస్ సో ఇట్ వాజ్ ద కండిషన్ బిఫోర్ నైన్టీన్ ఫోర్టీన్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద యూరోపియన్ కంట్రీస్ ట్రై టు కంట్రోల్ ఓవర్ ద ఇష్యూస్ ఎస్టాబ్లిషింగ్ కంట్రోల్ ఓవర్ ద కలోనియల్స్ బిట్వీన్ ది దీస్ యూరోపియన్ కంట్రీస్ లైక్ ఇంగ్లాండ్ జర్మనీ ఫ్రాన్స్ ఇటాలీ హాస్ట్రో అంగేరియన్ ఎంపైర్ అండ్ రష్యా సో అమాంగ్ దట్ యూ క్యాన్ సీ ద యునైటెడ్ కింగ్డమ్ హియర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ జర్మనీ హియర్ ఈస్ ఎ ఫ్రాన్స్ ఆస్ట్రో అంగేరియా ఆస్ట్రియా హంగేరీ రష్యా అమాంగ్ దీస్ కంట్రీస్ దర్ ఈస్ ఎ కాంపిటీషన్ హాస్ బీన్ క్రియేటెడ్ as a result of this the industrialization and the invention of new technologies had created more competition among the european countries the european countries have schemed to have control over each and every market of the world including india because of industrial revolution uh, industrialization and the invention of new technologies had created a more competition among the european countries wherever they are having the colonial centers they have the scheme to control over the market of the world including india also among that they wanted to have controlled access to resources of these colonies nothing but trading centers the complex treaties that were entered by these countries created a whole lot of complex problems related to geographical boundaries these issues were often upsetting the power balance among the european countries as a result every country militarized itself too much there is a competition among the having the military and showing off powers even the expansion of geographical boundaries complex problems has been created as a result there were alliances formed some of the agreements some of the countries they are grouped themselves an extreme form of nationalism grew over there the first world war divided the countries into two groups one it is triple entity of england france and russia in the first triple entity world war first it is the alliance created alliance versus as the groups were called as england france and russia we can see it is england france and russia the green in color whereas the triple alliance of triple alliance and a triple entity triple alliance were germany red in color you can see germany and italy then austria hungary so later italy joined the opposite camp so here it is these are the three alliance triple alliance triple entity united kingdom france and russia in the other hand triple alliance germany austria hungary and italy along with the war there were changes in the group structure as well so what is the major reason for the first world war the first world war took place between 1914 
14 and 1918. The first world war was took between 1914 to 1918. The assassination of the Archduke Francis Ferdinand, the Prince of Austria was the immediate cause for the war. So here the assassination, the assassination of Archduke Francis Ferdinand, the Prince of Austria was died. It is become as an immediate cause for the First World War. Then, so what is the very important issue for this First World War? Let's come to the, this incident created the hostilities with Serbia and Austria. Basically, the ruler, the prince, the prince, Archduke Francis Ferdinand, he was murdered. Then it is become as a created the hostilities with the Serbia and Austria. Serbia and Austria between these two countries, there is a lot of issues. Enmity has been created. Serbia and Austria between these countries, there is a enmity has been created. Archduke Francis Ferdinand, he was the prince of Austria. He was killed by Serbia. So, this is become as the immediate cause for the First World War. In the beginning of the war, United States of America had stayed neutral. There is no involvement by the Australia. It has become as a neutral. When the war reached its final stages, again situation changed. When the First World War, it is reached to the final stages, USA joined the group of England and France. Occurrence of revolution in Russia in November of 1917, it entered an agreement with Germany to stop the war and withdrew from the war. So, 1917, November, the Russia, occurrence of revolution in Russia, it is entered an agreement with the Germany to stop the war and withdrew from the war. Germany, which was battered by the attacks of triple entity, accepted defeat because Germany it was severely defeated. So, that triple entity forced Germany to sign the Treaty of Versailles. The triple entity, they are forced to Germany to sign Treaty of Versailles which was an insulting one to Germany in the year 1990. The empires of Austria, Austria-Hungary and Ottoman empires lost their existence. So, here these are Austria-Hungary and Ottoman empires. They lost their existence as a result of the First World War. Germany lost most of its geographical area. So, here it is Germany lost its maximum geographical areas. A wave of change swept across the Europe. The physical map of the Europe underwent change. Many new and small countries emerged in Europe. In order to prevent future occurrences of war, League of Nations came into existence in 1919 to avoid the happening or the causes for the First World War. They insisted the League of Nations was came into existence in the year 1919. So, what are the effects of the World War First? The sense of insult prevalent in the defeated nations between extreme nationalism. Here it is the extreme nationalism as the outcome of the First World War. The war penalty and other restrictions imposed on Germany impacted the ordinary life of Germans. It is severely. Majorly, First World War, it is affected a lot on Germany and Germany ordinary life, it is become very severely. The German industrialists exploited the unemployment and negative economic growth of their 
benefit. Some of the industrialists of German people, the rich people, they started exploiting the unemployment for their benefit. So this aided the growth of dictators like Hitler who caused the Second World War. In Germany, the dictator era, it is came into existed. The arms manufacturers of France, England, Germany and USA made profit out of this. By the First World War, those who are manufacturing the arms like the countries of France, England, Germany and USA made profit a lot from the manufacturing of arms. By the effect of First World War, more than 1 crore people lost their lives from the both the groups during the First World War. Among it includes both the civilian and soldiers. Whereas 2 crore people became injured and 35 lakh became the permanently disabled by the effect of the First World War. Just like any other war, the First World War also was fought for the benefit of few but it caused death and suffering in large numbers. So after this there is a Russian revolution has created. Let's come to the Russian revolution. Russia is the biggest of all the nations in the world. So it was ruled by Tsars in 19th century. Russia was ruled by Tsars in 19th century. They were exploiting the landlords. The landlords in the turn were exploiting laborers and small farmers. In Russia, they were exploiting the landlords. Tsars, the rulers, they are exploiting the landlords. Whereas landlords in turn were exploiting the laborers as well as small farmers. Now, the people were fed up with the administration of Tsars. The rule of Tsars called as nationalistic jail. The rule of Tsars was called a nationalistic jail. When Japan, you can see here Japan, a small country from Asia defeated Russia in 1905. Here you can see Japan defeated Russia in 1905 made the rule of Tsars more unacceptable and a lot of existence against the Tsars it is started. Those who are ruling in Russia, they defeated in the hands of the Japan in 1905. This resulted, there is a lot of resistance against the Tsars created. So among that, workers called for total boycotts, the farmers and workers took arms and fought against the rulers. Workers called for total boycotts, the farmers and workers took arms and fought against the rulers. But they were suppressed clearly by the Tsars. Based on these experiences, Vladimir Ilch Lenin guided the farmers and workers on the path of revolution. By this time, Lenin was declared as a traitor. When the resistance of the workers and farmers became more intense, the Tsar Nicholas II ruler ran away from the country. This is called as February 1917 revolution. The power was shared by moderates called as Mensheviks. They declared Russia a republic. During this time, Lenin returned to Russia and called for peace, food and land. This was supported by the workers and farmers across Russia. The Bolsheviks, the party of the workers, created October Revolution in 1917. Lenin joined the Revolutionary Party, declared Russia as a Socialist Republic Union on October 7th. This is called as 
October Revolution and Lenin became the president of the government. So after Lenin became the president, he declared that land belonged to the farmers. He implemented political and economic policies that ensured free health. Lenin was the first to implement Karl Marx's scientific communism in practice. This was a historic moment in the human history. When this new system was involved, evolving, Lenin died in 1924. Joseph Stalin became the president after the death of Lenin and built USSR, United Soviet Socialist Russia, as a formidable opponent to USA. The first five-year plans implemented by him changed the course of the USSR growth. The USSR launched the first satellite in the history of human civilization. Then Yuri, so Yuri Gagarin became the first astronaut of the world. The concept of first five-year plan. Five-year plans that it is adapted by our independent Indias that is borrowed from USSR. After the Second World War, USSR assumed the leadership of communist countries. It expressed support to the independence movement of the countries from Asia, Africa and South America. Joseph Stalin committed many mistakes while trying to make USSR a powerful country. The process of establishing communist republic was not totally successful. As a result, the powers opposing the revolution became stronger. Many reformations like Glasnost 1985 and Perestroika in 1987 were brought in. After these reformations were implemented by Gorbachev, Mekhai Gorbachev, the then president of USSR, the USSR integrated and the communalism collapsed. So here the concept of Perestroika and Glasnost. Glasnost. Perestroika means reconstruction and was implemented by Mikhail Gorbachev in 1982 during leaderships of the Communist Party. It replaced a centralized government and made them be more dependent in market forces. Glasnost means opponents and was implemented by Mekai Gorbachev alongside Perestroika is eased social controls of the people, gave freedom to the media and religious groups. Perestroika means reorganizing, Glasnost means liberal. So that's it about today's session. I hope you have understood till now what we are discussed. I will come back with the next video. Until keep watching my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Bye bye. Take care.